hello hello and welcome to my youtube channel i'm so grateful to you that you are stopping by today to watch my channel if you are one of my subscribers i say thank you thank you so much for all your support please make sure you hit the notification button so that whenever a new video is uploaded you will not miss it and you will be notified so today we are going ahead to beat our face i've already went ahead to do my eyebrows off camera i hope your day is going very well. let's go ahead and start priming our face applying my la girl pro concealer and i am putting a little bit and i'm going ahead to spread it all over my eyelid to grab my bh cosmetics um palette the 120 eyeshadow palette guys this is the brush like a blending little round brush that i'm starting off with you start using this is the palette that i have and i will be using this brown color this brown color here this one and i'm putting some on my brush and I will start do you guys see it like that and work my way back and I'm getting it again and I am putting it like right here done with that I am going to be using this purple it's a darker purple color so I'm going ahead to put some on my brush and this is the brush that I'm look I'm using for that and I am going right there on top of the dark brown one or um, around it so like right do you I'm going ahead and I'm placing this pink color it has like pink reddish color I'm going to put some of this concealer and again it is from LA girl concealer so I went ahead to apply that conceal to cut my crease and as soon as you put the concealer it dries out so quickly so you have to make sure that you blend it all in again I'm using my flat brush and we will try to do this together and I'm going ahead to draw a line. Okay, brown color. And I'm missing it with the purple color. And I'm going ahead at the edges to buff this in. Okay. I'm done with that. I'm going in with this with this orange color. And I am starting right there. Applying the same thing on this side. To the orange color. So far, this is what I have. Grab this 120 palette that I have. I think I have 60. It's, it has two packs. Let me show you guys. How it looks like it has two packs so I'm now using this pack because so for the yellow eyeshadow I'm going ahead to use this yellow and this yellow color here and I'm going to place it right there right there now that i've added the yellow color i'm going around with my um round brush the brush that i use for um the orange one and i am trying to blend braid it so i like the white or um cream effect that I'm it is getting. going to leave it like that and i am getting and I'm getting my palette and I have this color here. It looks like um, off-white. So I will be placing it in the corner of my eye. Just 
on the same pen. I have this gold um, shimmer eyeshadow gel that I use for the orange one. And I'm going ahead to place some on top so that it can. Again, I have this gold eyeshadow um, eye gel liner. And I got it from BH Cosmetics. So I want to add of my eye a little bit um, shimmer and I want it to pop so I'm placing some right there. I, um, once I'm done with that I'm going back with um, the brown color that I use and again I'm going to define I'm placing it right there Okay, so this is how my eyeshadow is looking. My mascara, cause I wanna finish my eye so that we can move on to um, to do our foundation. I'm not doing the bottom ply our primer on our face. I like to use a lot on my face because a little bit goes a long way. So I went in my CoverGirl. Um, foundation in the color true ebony that's what I'm using and I like to plate some like that and I'm using I've already went ahead to my face guys this is what it is giving me I know some people like to apply a lot of foundation on their face I don't because we we will be using a lot of products so I mean, because we will be using our concealer as well to, you know, give us a full coverage. So you don't necessarily need to put a lot of foundation on your face unless you have blemishes or you have. I always start off applying some on my chin around here. I know some people like to draw. So if that's what works for you, you can also go ahead and do that. So this is what I have. Okay. And I'm doing the same. You can draw like a V shape like that on your face. Just a V shape like this and that. And you close it and you color the inside. And when you're done, you want to put some on the bridge of your nose like that and also on your forehead with that i'm going ahead to use the same blending sponge that i use for my or if you like to use a flat brush too you can also this is like a concealer um flat brush you can also apply it use this as well but in it on the side of my nose like that I'm applying it all. Hey, you family I went ahead to blend in my concealer and as you can see I okay and when you're doing it and you mess up your um, eyebrows don't worry about it because when you're done you can always fix your eyebrows you can use it have now we are going ahead ooh, ooh, okay let's go ahead to start to contour our face yes we want to make our face to as always to be making a statement so that you know as soon as we enter that party that out and that date that we are going all eyes are going to be on us and the color is very dark i cannot tell the color so we are going to use i'm using my one of my flat brushes and this is how much I have. And I'm starting like right there. Okay. And I'm bringing it down. Okay. And I like to place some on my forehead, you know, just to wash you guys. And I am putting some on the side of my nose. And again, I went ahead to do the same thing. For my nose right there okay guys so i went ahead to place a little bit of my black eyeshadow 
and I'm using my Beauty Benefit and this is in the color dark. So I'm starting, I wanna, and this is what I'm doing because that, I wanna try to blend it in to go around here. So this is what this side is giving me. And at the top, I'm using the same brush rub it in to define my face so guys i went ahead to contour my face i am going to be using some of this for my nose to make sure that my nose is well defined the side of my nose now that i'm done with that before i apply my blush i want to go ahead and set my face um guys i'm using my jewish place and this i'm going to bake my face guess what i almost forgot because this face is looking so beat that i thought i did it but i didn't so and here and also on top So whilst we are waiting, this lipstick, I love it. I got this, it says Putty, Putty Blush from e.l.f. And again, I'm sorry, I don't, this will be my first time using it. So let me go ahead and get um, my brush. So this is my first time of using this. I'm a little bit nervous. Come as not. And I'm placing some. Ooh, okay. Not bad. Guys, what do you guys think? I think my face has been baking enough. This is looking good. Good. How are you guys doing well, with me i hope so you're gonna be getting done soon so now and you really want to glam up i will say if i'm going somewhere and i really want my face to beat and also do my hair believe it or not sometimes i can use two hours just to you know apply i want to make sure that i have time for my face to make sure my face is well beat you need about an hour because just the eyebrow alone, when you're doing your eyebrows alone, trust me, it can take about five to 10 minutes just on your eyebrow. So if you really want your face to beat for an event, sis, or then you know, spend some time on it. Okay, so I'm going ahead, really giving me mate, my color mate blush, because this blush right here, sis, mm. It sure do make a statement for me. So I love it. And even though you cannot. All right. So now I am going ahead to set my face. It says Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder. And the color is in Deep 35. So this is actually going to be my first time of using it. So to set our face. To make sure that this line here okay brush that I use to set my oh I'm a little bit nervous because this is my first time of using this but oh let's go ahead and then try it to make sure that everything is well blended in there are no harsh lines foundation on our face because once you are done trust me you have other products that you're gonna use on your face and again, I have my Beauty Benefit Press Powder, and this color is again in deep, and I like to place some again on top just to define. I'm using some of my powder, and again, I learned this technique from one of the YouTubers. I want to give a big shout out to her. I believe her name, her name is, I can talk for some reason, her name is Kita Oh, Kitty Beauty. Oh, she is the bomb. She is good. So I like, she always, whenever she's done, she likes to 
place a little bit of her powder there just to it gives it you know a different so that it looks natural and real so guys this is all that i'm doing and bam check your girl out okay guys that i'm highlighter this is how it looks like it has like an orange form so that's first time together with you guys so i'm going to apply a little bit and let's see whoa that's nice okay wow okay i still have some left so i'm using it for my nose and i'm placing some here and on my forehead so so it looks and of course we're not going to be walking out like that so we have to blend it in so for my eye line so i went ahead to apply my falsy lashes and now i am all set at my face so this is my final look this is how here I, I personally want to say thank you and I hope to see you back Ooh. here soon. Here, just to, you know, pin my hair up and I try to do some twist around here and I pin it up. It's a very simple 